When you begin a new video project, um, switch to the layout for e video editing. Here you find a preview, channels and a timeline. And you add movies by going onto the add movie menu item, go to your folder and select the first movie to import. Notice these settings. You can select a start frame by dragging it to the frame, which really doesn't make sense. Um, or yeah, tapping on the edges to increment or decrement it. Um, but most, imp most important is the channel selector. The first one goes onto the, the first channel, which is quite all right. But the second one should not go onto the second because um, here we have the sound of the first video of the first movie file. So we have two strips, one for video, one for audio, and uh, the next import should go onto the third, and Blender doesn't do that nicely, so we have to remember to uh, set the counter when importing. Uh, now I will roughly align the video to where I switch on the second camera on the window, which is now, and import the next movie right there. The frame is set to 81 and the channel is incremented to 3 so we don't cover uh, we don't have collisions of the files window is the next file to import again i go forward to where i press the button seemingly wait yeah it's really slow right around there i add the final movie and deliberately forget to count this up so you can see what i'm wailing about. Uh, I import the movie and oh no the sound collides with the first sound. Uh, so I select it with a right click and press G for grab and now I can repair my setup by putting it up. Notice how the numbers uh, describe in at what frame you would drop the drag clip uh, once you click. It's very important if you move them to always move uh, video and audio together otherwise they might disalign. Especially if you are in a view where you can't really distinguish end from end of each strip. Uh, so now we have uh, videos imported and yeah that's it for this one.